the show on the East Coast. I broke my neck. Uh, it was the end of the weekend. I wrestled like five matches in four days. Um, I continued wrestling the match. I didn't really think anything was wrong. Uh, I just thought it was like a normal ache and pain. And then the next day I woke up with some tingling in my arm and I was like, hey, I guess I gotta go to the hospital, right? Mm. <laughs> and um, after that, I had uh, neck surgery. I had to get a titanium plate put in. Uh, now we're just waiting for it to fuse on up, uh, take some time to rest and recover so that I can be back here for the second half of the season, you know? That's the goal, the hope, the dream, and I'm excited to be here to support the girls because other than this, I'm just sitting on the couch waiting to recover, and it's way better to be here around the people I love, the thing that I love, and I uh, get to support them. Hi, I'm Candy. How are you? Doing all right. All right, all right. I'm Joey. Nice to meet you. Um, I was a big fan of your work in season one. It really seemed like the wow universe really took the eye candy too, which was cool. So having wrestled in other places, um, what would you say your favorite thing is about wrestling at wow? My favorite thing about wow is that um, I really get to bring the, the dynamic, bubbly, energetic part of myself. Um, this is a, you know, even though we, we reach such a large audience, and we have that television platform, when we're actually recording and actually like doing the tapings, it's still like uh, an intimate setting. The Velasco Theater, it's beautiful. It has, it can hold like thousands of people or a thousand plus. Um, so you still, you still get that wide net and that wide audience where you can reach as many people as possible, but you get the intimacy where everyone in the theater can feel the energy and the magnetism of it all. Very cool. Uh, and then one follow-up question. I'm so sorry to hear about your injury. Um, do you uh, know how much time you'll need to take off? And if so, if you do make a return to the ring, uh, do you think you're going to need to adapt to protect yourself further in the future? Uh, so at this point, we're about two and a half months removed from my surgery. Uh, recovery's been going well. I'm stuck in this neck brace for another few weeks. Um, and then I'm doing some rehabbing to one get stronger. I definitely need to get a stronger neck. Um, and I'm hoping to be back training at the end of summer, early fall. And um, I definitely want to adapt, as you mentioned, um, to be a little bit more precarious in the future, make sure this doesn't happen again uh, or worsen. Uh, because this will affect the rest of my spine and the other vertebrae in my neck, so it's a thing I have to be cautious of. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, like mid-autumn to be back, you know, wrestling in front of people. Fantastic. Well, thank you and best of luck in your recovery. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Tony from Breezeway Productions. Hey, Tony. I just wanted to uh, talk a little more about your injury. Can you pinpoint what happened or it just kind of was throughout the match it just felt a little pain that thought nothing of it. So um, I can pinpoint the exact moment that I broke my neck. Um, uh, I had taken a half Nelson suplex. You're supposed to, like I, I was flipping over onto my stomach and my body started going in that direction but my head didn't quite clear it. So I essentially scorpioned myself You'll see a lot of that on the internet, like funny videos. It wasn't funny in my situation. <laughs> but um, I scorpioned myself. I had uh, paresthesia, which is when you have temporary paralysis. You feel the tingles in your fingers, your arms, your limbs, your toes. I had that for a split second. Um, my immediate thought after that was, all right, well, I can move my fingers and toes. I know where I am. I'm like very aware of my surroundings. I think I'm OK. Um, but after the match, I was like, oh, I don't know, my neck is hurting a little bit more than usual. But definitely because there was a very um, clear moment of impact where obviously I had the paresthesia, I, uh, I knew that must have been it. And you finished the match like a few more minutes? Yes. Yeah, I think I probably did six-ish more minutes of wrestling after that. Putting the love superheroes in my superhero, you know? <laughs> Well, good luck, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hi, uh, oh, 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 o
Carl's Demands Radio. Hey, Carl. Hey. hey. Um, so first question is, you already asked the question about the specific injury. Um, where did you get that cool bling bling nut bracelet? It's a custom made by Eye Candy herself. <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of free time, obviously, with recovery. Um, and I do have an affinity for some bling and color. You know, spicing things up again and making it some, some glam. Uh, so in my free time, I was like, I'm just going to bedazzle it. Why not? Nice. Nice. Um, second question is, um, you're a wrestler, of course. Every wrestler has their certain thing they like to do, their way they like to drop on people. Do you have a certain special move or a set of moves that you really feel like lays it down as a wrestler when you give it to an opponent? Uh, me personally, that I feel are like. Like, what's your thing? What's your thing? What's your thing? So, hey, watch out for it. <laughs> My favorite thing is a, a moonsault, which is backflip from the top rope. Uh, it was personally something I had always wanted to learn because uh, growing up I was a big fan of Lita uh, from WWE and that was her move and I always thought it was beautiful the way she did it and it was like impressive. I was like, I gotta learn this. So I, uh, weeks and weeks of training, would attempt it, couldn't get it, attempt it, couldn't get it. I remember the day I got it, it was like the most like pure joy I could feel in a wrestling ring. Just the freedom of being in the air for a few seconds and then the reality of the hit and you're like, that's impact. That's like, this is what wrestling is. So for me, like that accumulates all of the emotions that go through just in a few seconds. Thank you. Well wishes on your net recovery. I'm sorry? Oh, just well wishes on your recovery. Oh, thank you so much.